Hey guys, welcome back to Tommy Legends once again. Thank you for stopping by. So it's the final video in this series of the custom Top Force build and now we've got to make a decision on what we're going to do with the shell and it's down to two different designs as it were. Um, so let's have a look at the two options. So the first thing you can see, I've cut out the shell under tray and wing. Um, I've taken the protective film off the wing because on the, the design of the mould of the top force um, you spray it from the underside um, so the protective film is useless as it comes so I need to mask it, I'll take that off and then I need to mask it on the correct side and the size of the wing and then spray it um, the shell is a little bit more straightforward it's just one colour um, and then the under tray now I've decided I'm going to leave the under tray um, transparent um, I've not taken the protective film off of it yet, hence the blue colour. Because it's a reproduction one, it doesn't fit perfectly. Uh, I've had one of these in the past and on this little bit here, I've just put a little bit of double sided tape there just to hold that bit. But I'm just going to leave this one because as I say, it's a display car and whether you have the shell and the under tray on is a, a different matter. Um, I didn't fit the front mounting bracket um, on this because I was tempted to go Velcro. Um, it doesn't actually need it because it, it sits fine. Just one body clip there will suffice. Um, again, I've left a protective film on. So the body shell, wing, and under tray, although we're not spraying the under tray, is ready to go. So let's have a look at the options we have on the two different colours. So these are the two designs. So this was the original idea I had. So I wanted to, to give it that stealth look. So I went with egress wheels and tyres. I had these chrome finished Tamiya TRF decals and this fancy PS48. Um, it's like a chrome aluminium mirror finish paint. It's double the price of a normal PS paint, um, but I thought it would look pretty cool. But when I built it up and with the dark wheels on and what, it, it doesn't really stand out. And then, as I showed you in the previous video, I had, I had a look at pictures of the original Top Force Evolution I had. And that thing really pops in the right lighting. So if you followed this, you'll see that I dyed the wheels Evo colour. Uh, so if you want to know how to do that, just go check out one of my previous videos. It's really easy to do and it's an absolutely awesome effect. Um, so, oh, and I've got the reproduction Evo decals. Now the box art colour for the Evolution is Tamiya PS23, which is gunmetal. So I've kind of... I've got a surplus. Now I can use, obviously I'm going, as you can see I put the detail into the tyres, so I've made my mind up, I'm going for the Top Force Evolution look-alike clone, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I will use these on something else because I definitely want to use this paint because it's if you do it right and you back it correctly it looks awesome. The decals are awesome and obviously the Tamiya Regus wheels and tyres, they just look great on anything. Um, so this is what we're going to go with. So next step now is to mask the wing up and go spray the shell and the wing um, and then we'll go from there. Right, that's the wing masked off. Um, as you can see you do it all on the inside um, and then spray on the outside, which is a bit odd really. It's a bit of a strange design because the decal goes on the paint, but the idea is so it looks shiny on the inside. So. Um, Right, that's the wing and shell ready to spray, so let's get cracking. Right, that's the shell and wing sprayed up. Um, obviously you don't have to mask the windows on this. You can do, but if you're going to go the smoked effect, but um, I think it goes that way. But I haven't bothered, because on the originals, the black is a smoke, um, but obviously there's a reproduction. Um, that's the wing done. I need to just tidy that slit up with a knife, but. I find it easy to do when it's painted. And then, as you can see, I've got the decals cut out and ready to go. So, um, let's get the decals on. Right, guys, that's the shell and wing complete. Um, didn't look to be much decals, but that's taken a while, to be honest. Um, not sure on the colour of the decals yet. The I'll know better when I take it outside and take a few pictures against the original I had. I just think the yellow may be a little bit darker. That's the wing. The cutout looks pretty good now. Sides and it's got the top force at the back. So I think next job we'll stick it on the car. We'll take the under tray off, take the protective film off so it's transparent. 
uh, and then we'll stick this on the car and see what it looks like. I just thought I'd show you the under tray because um, it looks completely different with the protective film off of it. As I say, it's not a great fit and if you were going to run this, you'd need to sort this back end out. Now you could bolt it down there and it'd be fine, but it's not really supposed to. And you don't want to put a double-sided tape there because it spoils the look of the chassis. But yeah, I mean it looks it looks awesome, you kind of don't know it's there. Um, right, let's bang the rest on. product looks all right doesn't it I need to, I'm gonna take it outside get some pictures of it because the lighting in here it doesn't sort of pop as it should but um, you get the gist of it especially when you get all the alloy shining that'll look pretty cool so I think all in all I've got to be happy with that and she's finally done. It's been ages. A lot of work, a lot of expense. Extreme lot of work's gone into this, to be honest. Um, but I think I made the right choice by going for the Evo lookalike, um, as opposed to the, the Chrome TRF one. Um, but yeah, I've uh, got a few little things left to do on it, a few little niggles, but nothing major. And obviously we're still waiting for the Alloy bulk head cover to arrive. Um, and then it will be pretty much finished. But I, I've got to be happy with that. It's... It's more. It's actually better than it, I wanted it to be. Um, as I say, it's a display car, and to me, it looks far better with the shell off, so you can see all the bits on it, and even the wheels off. If it was stored at an angle in a glass lit cabinet, gonna look very, very trick. Um, so yeah, that's it, guys. Um, so if you've watched this full series, thank you, appreciate that. And if you are new to this channel, if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us for our weekly videos. And as always guys, happy assing.